Hi, I'm Andrew Childers for Envato Touch Plus, and today we're going to take a look at stacking images in our Adobe Lightroom catalog. Stacking is really handy for grouping images that might be similar in content or capture time. It can really help keep our view nice and tidy. So first, let's take a look at how to manually stack a series of images. I've got a series of images here that I want to group into a stack because they're so similar looking. So I'm going to go ahead and select all four of these images here. Now, I can hold Command on my keyboard, or you can do the same thing with Control on Windows, or I can hold Shift and click the last image in a series to select everything in between. Now, to go ahead and put them in a stack, we can come up to the Photo menu, choose Stacking, and choose Group into Stack. Now, when I do that, you'll see this little icon come up over the thumbnail, both in the center panel here as well as on the thumb strip. And this shows us how many images are actually in that stack. So once we have a stacked series of images, if we make a change, like adding five stars for example, it's important to note that that change only impacts the image that's on the top of a stack. Not everything inside of it now has a five star rating. To work with images individually, we'll want to expand the stack, and doing that will make all of the images visible all at once. Now, my favorite way to expand a stack is just to press the letter S on our keyboard, but you could go back to the photo stacking menu as well. Now, once that stack is expanded, you'll see here that each of these images has a little icon that'll show up as we hover over the thumbnail to let us know where in the stack that it is. You'll also note that the background of these thumbnails is kind of a darker gray, and that just helps signal that it's part of a larger stack. With the stack expanded, we can go through and interact with images individually. One other thing that you might want to do is set a different image at the top of the stack. Let's say that I really like this image and I want it to be at the top of the stack so that it's always visible. To do that, I can go up to the photo menu, choose stacking, and choose move to top of stack. Now, when I collapse this stack back, this one will be on the top. To collapse the stack back, all we have to do is press the letter S on our keyboard again, and you'll see that the stack collapses. Now, the image that we moved to the top is in fact visible. Now, let's say that our Lightroom catalog has lots of stacks in it, and we've been playing with expanding and collapsing all of them. I want you to know that on the photo menu in the stacking section, there's always a collapse all stacks and expand all stacks to do them all at the same time. So if you're a big fan of stacks like I am, this is incredibly useful. So far, we've looked at how to group images into a stack and expand and collapse them. However, what happens if we have images in a stack and we want to undo it all together? In this case, we actually want to unstack, which is different than expanding. When we unstack, we're removing the grouping altogether. The images will no longer be stacked at all. To do that, just go to the photo menu, choose stacking, and choose unstack. You'll see now that those four images are broken apart, there's no dark gray background, and there's no little thumbnail that says 2 of 4 or 3 of 4 for example. The images are now totally unstacked. The last thing that I want to show you is how to kind of automate this process, and I think this is extremely useful for burst shooters. If we go up to the photo menu and choose stacking, and then choose auto stack by capture time, this new window comes up that allows us to group images automatically. So what this window allows us to do is pick a time between stacks. So for example, with a one second stack interval here, it's going to group all images together that are one second or shorter apart. In this way, we could turn this way down to just a half a second, for example, and really group those burst images together very easily. This is really helpful if you're a sports shooter or someone who shoots a lot of those burst series. It makes a lot of sense to group those images into individual stacks instead of having them take up a ton of visual space here in the center of Lightroom. That's it. You've mastered the art of stacking, unstacking, and now auto-stacking. Thanks so much for joining me.